the atheist, feminist divide, tolerance is non-optional. I was hoping the definitive proof of God would do better than it did on YouTube. In fact, I lost 1% of my subscribers, which is two. Maybe I went overboard with my spamming. I definitely spammed a lot of people. But then there is an atheist-feminist divide. A lot of people are opposed to feminism, but they are not opposed to God. I don't see the difference. But then, I guess that is perspective. And those who are opposed to God, but not opposed to feminism, again, I have a hard time seeing the difference. Learning how to accept people's differences of opinion is hard. Sometimes you have to force yourself to listen to Rebecca Watson, even though it's like drinking gasoline. I have to agree with something she says. She's supposed to be a fucking skeptic after all. Sorry. It's hard. My emotions get the best of me. Constructive dialogues will only occur when we resist a temptation to throw up. And we need to be able to laugh at our own beliefs. If you can't see the folly in your own thinking, you're letting your emotions get the better of you. We are all the design of evolution, and we know how perfect evolution is. Not. The only way I can see we can do better is to understand our emotions, not deny them. To deny them is to allow them to corrupt our reason engine, and this is what I often see when I look at tenuous arguments of feminist thinkers like Rebecca Watson. Here's a clue. They're too complicated. I enjoy a good troll who tries to make fun of my spelling. It teaches me tolerance for something that is extremely touchy for me and always will be. The only thing I try to do is to feel the feelings and then move through them. And one trick I have learned from my favorite comedian, Ms. Bossy Pants herself, Tina Fey, is a concept of yes and. She didn't invent the idea, but she likes to use it. Now, she has run into some resistance in the corporate world, but I still think it's a good idea, and it really is a real good social lubricant. We use humor as a social lubricant. It activates feel-good drugs in our body, which adds in cooperation and creative thinking. Are we looking for a solution? Are we look itching for a fight? I subscribe to a few theists simply because I think they're nice and can be somewhat reasonable. Oh, and by the way, I spam them too. Hey, turnabout is fair play, at least in my world. They still haven't subscribed to me yet, damn it. Oh, and those theists that unsubscribe to me, I wrote you a little song. <laughs> Because I believe in God.